Wynn's act was clearly an act of love, and he was thinking of all of us, all of the people and all of the beings on this planet, as he burned. Maybe we each just set a part of ourselves more on fire, and that doesn't have to be your body. I mean, what Wynn Bruce did was um, an unbelievable act that I think all of us cannot really yeah, imagine, I can't imagine doing that and never seeing your family, your friends, your community, your, the, he grew up in Colorado, the beautiful wilderness of Colorado, never to see any of that again. Uh, we will continue to carry Wind Bruce in our hearts and I want to also um, say that I believe Wind Bruce had all of us in his, in his heart, all of us, the whole earth in his heart when, when he chose to do what he chose. It was a true story of courage. He did not scream, he did not shout, he did not run to the water fountain that was in front of him. He did not even dab himself. I know so many people, young and old, who are so depressed and anxious about the climate crisis that they, they, they clench up and don't know what to do. And for me, the only way to deal is, is to do to do what a lot of you out here are doing and, you know, being active, but like, I, again, I, I can't imagine what this man did, but also <laughs> it makes sense. Whenever someone self-immolates for a cause, that cause usually succeeds. Um, the reason being, um, if someone is willing to sacrifice their life for a a reason or a cause, it, it has to be just. After Wynn carried out his act of self-immolation, his teacher in Colorado critique of the Sacred Earth Sangha said that this was not suicide, this was not even a protest. but an act of courage and compassion for the earth and for all of life.